when uh, objects uh, fall, uh, in case you haven't noticed, they accelerate. Right? I mean, if here's the ground, and uh, here's a great big rock, and here's you, okay. Um, you will, you probably know from uh, everyday experience that if this rock is released, its velocity will change. And it will start to increase its velocity in a downward direction. So the question is, is that acceleration constant? And if it is constant, what is it? Well, we're going to do a, a couple little activities where we're going to show that it's constant. Uh, but that's going to come a little bit later. So I'm just going to tell you, yes, it does accelerate. It does accelerate downwards, uh, obviously. Things do not fall up, okay? Um, and, they, uh, and the acceleration, if you stay close to the Earth's surface, and by close to the Earth's surface, I mean within about 50 miles of the Earth's surface, um, it's going to be this. The acceleration is going to be equal to 9.8 meters per second every second in a downward direction. Now we have a way of saying down. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to draw an axis system here. I'm going to call this the y direction. This is the x direction. And so if I say that up is the positive y direction, well then our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second every second in, the, in a negative y direction. Okay. Now we have the kinematic equations that we've been using so let me review them. We said that V equals V naught plus AT. Now, nothing about free fall changes that. I mean, uh, just all we're going to do differently now is say, hey, the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second every second, or 9.8 meters per second squared in, a, in the y direction. Now, here's what we're going to assume for right now. All our velocities are in the y direction for, for this section. So I'm going to put a little subscript y there. And that just means, hey, my initial velocity is in the y direction. My final velocity is in the y direction. My acceleration is in the y direction. Now, this is that, therefore, we're going to change something. We're going to say that instead of delta x, we're going to say everything is, is delta y. Now here's the second kinematic equation, right? But instead of delta x, we're going to say delta y. And by the way, if you call it delta x and you solve the problem, you're going to be fine. Now, in a couple of units, we're going to do 2D motion, where objects are moving in the x and the y direction at the same time. So you want to get in the habit of keeping the y direction and the x direction uh, str you know, straight. So this is in the y, this is in the y. Now, if you want to know delta y, here it is. But what is our acceleration? Negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Unless, of course, you go to another planet. If you go to Mars, it's about 3. Point, I think it's 3.8 meters per second every second. So Mars has less gravity than Earth because it, it has less mass. The moon is even, uh, even weaker gravity. It's 1.6 meters per second every second. But we're going to do these problems on the Earth for right now. And there's the fourth kinematic equation. So really, there's nothing new here in these problems. You're going to be doing free fall problems. Um, but um, what you assume is that if it's in free fall, the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second, every second in a downward direction. Okay. 
Don't have time to work an example problem, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Read the book and do the, the problems assigned, and I think you'll be fine. Have those done by Monday, please.